Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and it's Deb C and the place to be, it's Deb C. Bloop, bloop, that's me. Boop, Deb C. Hey guys, happy Thursday. <laughs> it's Thursday. It's almost Friday and it's almost the weekend. Listen, I woke up today and I was like, nope, don't want to do this. And then I thought, wait a minute, it is Friday. Oh, I'm so excited. It is Friday. Yes. And I was living my best life, having my breakfast, thinking it's Friday. And then my mom brought me back down to earth. Dolly told me, in fact, it is Thursday. <laughs> so it is only Thursday, but we only have one more day left. So that's great. I hope everybody is having a great week. If not a great week, then a good week. Um, you did not get a video from me last night just because um, I just relaxed a little bit and, and laid around. I thought today I would start a little, um, start a little thread. I don't want to say a thread, but start a new content idea. And that is covering a TV show that I fell into watching on Tuesday night because I thought The Bachelor was on eight, The Bachelor was on eight o'clock. It's not, it was on at nine. So I watched Claim to Fame. It's the second season. It's hosted by Kevin and Franklin or Kevin and Frankie Jonas um, of the Jonas Brothers. Well, Kevin Jonas of the Jonas Brothers, but they're all brothers. So Kevin and Frankie Jonas are the host. And I was kind of pissed that that Bachelorette wasn't on at 8 o'clock. But I watched the show and I have to tell you, I liked it. I mean, I know that there was a first season. Um, and I started, I, I got into watching it like a little bit, but not really. It was kind of on in the background while I was doing other things, um, before I went to bed. So I didn't really pay attention to it last year, but I really started watching it this year and it's really good. So I think I'm going to just go through and do some recaps on Claim to Fame, the second season. So if you didn't watch it, here's what it is. There is a bunch of contestants. Each one of them is related to someone famous. Um, basically, the object of the game is every week they pick a guesser. So that's a person that has to guess who the, has to pick one person and has to guess who their famous relative is. And if that person guesses correctly, then the person who was picked goes home. If they guess incorrectly, then they in fact go home. So when they, before they intro, they introduce each one of the contestants, each of the contestants tells true, tr two truths and a lie. So I'm going to go over the contestants and who I think they're related to. Um, first of all, we had Monet. Um, she had said her, um, her famous relative is her father. He's an athlete. And he has won an Emmy. Um, I have no idea of who, I have no idea of who this is. Absolutely not at all. Um, next up was Jane. Jane says her relative is her dad. He's a musician and he has run, won a Grammy. I did some digging. Listen, there's only one of these people that I figured out from the looks of it who it was, who their relative is. Jane, I had no idea. So I went to TikTok on a lot of these um, and come to find out that Jane's relative is Dolly Parton. It's She's Dolly Parton's niece. And she, she uses, Jane is not the name that she uses professionally because she is also a musician in a band. She uses, her first name that she uses is um, Jada. Uh, next we have Hugo. Now listen, Hugo, I feel he is, with this show, he's firmly planting himself in the reality TV show Dickheads of the Year Club because I don't like him. He has an attitude and he has like this ego and I'm not sure why. Um, he gets up there and he says his relative is his grandfather, who is an athlete, who has won the Nobel Prize. Um, and, and later on, he had said 
He thinks it's believable. His his grandfather is not an athlete. He thinks it's just very believable to say that his relative is an athlete because he himself has a has an athletic frame. He does not. In no universe does he have an athletic frame. If he has an athletic frame, then I am the next Sports Illustrated swimsuit model. He doesn't. Um, his, and he, he had said that at one point, his grandfather, his relative was the most powerful man in the world. His relative is Jimmy Carter. He is Jimmy Carter's grandson. I feel sorry for Jimmy Carter because Jimmy Carter, regardless of what you think of his politics, that man is a decent human. I mean, he is a decent human being. This dude, Hugo, he acts like a dick. So there's that. Okay, next up we had Shane. Shane got up and said that um, her relative is her dad. He's a musician. He has won a Grammy. Her, her father, one of those, the one lie of those is, I believe, the Grammy. Because she is Eddie, Murphy, Eddie Murphy's daughter. Now, you might be thinking, wait a minute. Her dad isn't a musician, but... Let's just remember, he teamed up in the 80s with Rick James for My girl likes to party all the time, party all the time, party all the time. My girl wants to party all the time, party all the time. She parties all the time. Okay, don't come after me, Rick James. Don't put me in the trunk. And you can't fit all this in a trunk and you can't pick it up. And don't come after me for any money, Eddie Murphy, because I don't have enough for you to be okay. Um, <laughs> so she is Eddie Murphy's daughter. Next was Gabriel. Now, Gabriel said that his relative is his brother, who is an athlete, who won an NAACP award. Um, this guy is, he's real fun. He's, he's real friendly. He's like a hype man. But he said a little bit later on that he's like the guy that everybody gets along with and he's fun, but he's like a secret sniper. Like he's a side sniper from the side. I don't know. I kind of like Gabriel. Um, as it turns out, he is Nick Cannon's brother. You thought I was going to say Nick Cannon's son. Wrong. Nick Cannon's brother. Um, next up was JR. JR said that his relative is his brother. Some of these they didn't say like each one of the each one of the little, you know, like relation, what he does and what he's won. JR said his relationship is his brother. Now everybody seems to think because this guy's really tall that he is related to an NBA player. When in fact his relationship is little Nas X. I believe that he is his brother. Um, the reason why I know that is because on TikTok, somebody put it out there that little Nas X's brother and his brother had said out there on um, on TikTok, I believe, while he was doing donuts, that you know your brother was on your brother's on TV. That's him. That's Jr. Um, next is Carson, K-A-R-S-Y-N. She said her, her relationship is her brother. I have no idea of who, who she's related to. The one that I knew immediately was Chris. Chris said his relative has a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Um, somebody else on there says that, because after the talent show, he did um, for the talent show, he did, he was singing and he's a singer. He's a musician. And somebody had said, had brought up John Mayer. It's not John Mayer because Chris looks just like a very young version of Donny Osmond. And that's who he is. I went online. I checked. He does have a son named Chris. It looked exactly like him. He's related to, um, Donny Osmond. Cole he had said his relationship is his father. His relationship is not. He, his famous relationship is his sister, who is Alicia Keys. They got some pretty big names on here this season. Um, next was Olivia. Olivia said 
that her relation, her relative had won a Razzie Award. And a lot of people are guessing that Olivia is related to Jenny McCarthy Wahlberg that, and that that's her aunt. Um, Travis, Travis said his relative is his father, who is an actor who has won a Critics' Choice Award. Um, and after the talent show, it was apparent that the he is a his father. He did win a Critics' Choice Award, but he's not an actor. He is, in fact, Neil deGrasse Tyson. That's um, he's his son. Uh, and lastly is Carly. Carly um, says it's her uncle, who's a musician, who has won an Oscar. This is a big one. This was like the, oh my God, because I love this guy. Um, Tom Hanks is her uncle. Um, so they got all of those done. And then they, then they brought out, so they got all the introductions done. And they then let them into the house and they checked out the clue wall. Now on the clue wall, there are little clues. Some are there because they really do relate to these, these relatives. Some just don't. Some are put in there to throw them off. Um, immediately people pick up on two things. They pick up on well, one thing, really, they pick up on the bench, the green bench from Forrest Gump. They pick up on, and then they see, um, the astronaut for Apollo 13. Um, and as soon as people then start saying like, Hey, that's Forrest Gump. That's, that's from Forrest Gump. That's she starts acting real weird and odd or she walks away or, she, you know, and she thinks not a lot of people are noticing this, but people are noticing this, that her reaction to when people bring up Tom Hanks. Um, then they have a challenge every week. They have a challenge this week. They had the talent show. If you win the talent show, then you get immunity and you get a clue. You get a secret clue that you get to pick on one other contestant, um, and you can choose to show other people if you want, but it's yours. And the uh, losers, you get two losers. And this goes by um, crowd reaction. The people with the least, the two people with the least amount of applause, they are, um, the other contestants will vote between the two of them who's going to be the guesser for that week. So Chris is first up. Chris says his relative so Chris is first up and Chris says his relative off camera is a musician. He sings and a, and a few people are like, hmm, they're guessing John Mayer. It cannot be John Mayer because John Mayer, like, I think I checked it. I don't think, I don't think it said that John Mayer has any brothers named Chris. It absolutely definitely is a Donny Osmond. Um, uh, everybody is like, every, everybody's, everybody is decent. Um, Jane sings. She's awesome. Everybody is pretty good until Carly gets up there. And then she starts rapping some ridiculous rap about who people, about her, her relative. And then she starts twerking. I have no idea how she got as many claps as she did. Cause she was terrible. JR comes up and shoots baskets gets none of them in, ends up falling and tearing like a ligament or something. Um, but because he's doing this, it throws everybody else off the scent of who his relative might be because everybody's like, well, he's obviously related to somebody in the NBA. Um, Carson sings Amazing Grace and sh and listen, only dogs could hear it. She, she was terrible. Hugo comes up and does weightlifting to push, to push, um, to push it on everybody that, hey, listen, I'm related to an athlete. He was terrible. He couldn't hardly even pick it up. Um, and then Travis recited the first hundred digits of pi. He won. Um, so he won immunity. But people were really on to him after that, especially Jane. Jane was like, I know exactly who it is. Um, so they get back to the house. Shane is really, I think it was Ga uh, Gabriel that said Shane is the silent one. Shane's the one you got to watch out for because she's silent, but she's writing like everything down. 
and nobody has guessed any of the clues that were up there. Like the one that got me immediately was all of the animals and people were saying, well, that could be a, that could be Jim Carrey, Ace Ventura. Um, that could be Carly, but nobody thought Dr. Doolittle. I'm telling you, she could be the silent one that nobody even thinks about except for Travis. I'll tell you that later. Chris then sees the astronaut and says, hey, Apollo 13. Carly then goes into like cleanup mode and says, well, maybe someone, maybe someone here is related to Buzz Aldrin. And I think Buzz Aldrin might have won um, a, Nobel, a Nobel Peace Prize. So Chris, you think Chris is going to bite on that. But then, and, and there's also a B there. So she's like, it's Buzz Aldrin. It has to be you guys related to Buzz Aldrin. And we think Chris is going to bite, but then Chris mentions the Forrest Gump bench. She deflects again and is like, well, Gary Sinise was in that too. Plus, hum, plus Tom Hanks is too big to be on here. You know, he's way too big. And Chris says off camera, Tom Hanks is too big to be here, but his relative is not. He is absolutely certain. So with Travis's immunity and his and his ability to select um, a, a clue. He picks Shane. And the clue that he gets is it's a scroll. It has the first part of it is a crown and then a plane and then a map of America. Coming to America. Then there was another one with like a play button plus a buck plus wheat. Eddie Murphy played Buckwheat on Saturday Night Live. So he didn't guess it immediately, but somebody has to guess that. He will show them a little bit later. Um, now, uh, Carly, and Carly also, the ridiculous thing is, Carly's trying to throw the scent off of her. So she's really thinking, she's saying she thinks Monet is related to Steve Harvey because she got big eyes like Steve Harvey which is ridiculous. Um, so they vote, they all vote, they all go in and they vote who they want the guesser to be. Listen, I'm gonna tell you right now, Carly votes for Hugo to be the guesser. It's between Hugo and JR. Hugo is picked to be the guesser. He in turn picks Carly. Carly goes up there, is immediately, you know, like nervous and keeps saying, I helped you, but I helped you. I helped you. Not really, because you were giving him like some bullshit information that doesn't even make any sense. So not really. Um, he guessed that she was re related to Tom Hanks. He was right. She is related to Tom, Tom Hanks. That's her uh, uncle. Um, she was, uh, she was beyond pissed. She, they, she leaves and then she starts screaming, screaming about how there were so many clues for me and not hardly any for anybody else. This isn't fair. And takes a swipe at, at, um, at Gabriel being like stupid and then yelling about how it's not fair. She should have had more screen time. If I was Tom Hanks, uh, listen, you're not invited to the next family reunion. I'm sorry. Keep my name out your mouth. So that's what it is. Carly went home. I like this. I mean, I like the show. I think it's, I think it's an original idea. I like an original idea. And um, I like Kevin and Frankie Jonas on it. And I, I think I'm going to continue talking about it. I really like it. So if you watched Claim to Fame, let me know in the comments down below um, and tell me who you think is related to who. And listen, I will talk to you tomorrow. If nobody told you yet today, I love you. You're loved, seen, and heard. Please make sure that you put love, kindness, compassion, acceptance, hope, and positivity out there. Treat everyone the way you would want to be treated and take care of one another. And I love you guys and I will see you tomorrow. Almost the weekend. Bye, guys.